Hello, my name is Kristen Woodward. I'm the Teaching and Learning Team Lead for the UWM Libraries, and I'm also the Librarian for Sociology, Psychology, and Criminal Justice. This workshop is a companion to the Library Workshop Guide. This is where you'll find all of the database links, video tutorials, and access to help from our library staff. In this virtual workshop, I'm going to give a basic approach to getting your thoughts organized so that you can identify the articles you'll need for the final paper on group dynamics. I'll provide a basic search strategy you can use to begin the process of looking for empirical studies from peer-reviewed journals and the links you'll need to databases that specialize in sociological studies. You probably have a topic in mind at this point, either drawn from themes in your course readings and discussion, or your own interest related to those themes. On the screen, you can see a simple mind map. In it, I'm thinking about the group dynamics among victims and peers in a school setting and what types of interventions may be effective. I have bullying at the center of my organization and then some of the group members over at the right. The interventions I think might be useful are on the left. By getting my ideas on paper and organized into themes and relationships to the main research topic, I can begin looking for a set of articles that will help me investigate this issue. You can see in the slide that there's a mind map that you can download and use um, for your own topic. And this is also available in the workshop guide. What I'm going to do with my mind map or this pre-work that I've done is take what I visualized and then start off with a basic search um, that I can use in the sociological abstracts database. So I'm going to pull out of here a search for bullying and peers and coping. At this point, I'd like you to take a moment to watch this set of brief video tutorials to see how you can search a database like Sociological Abstracts, from the beginning steps of entering your search terms to the final steps of finding the full text of the article. Try a few different search combinations in Sociological Abstracts. My first search will be for bullying and peers and coping. Remember that you'll be looking for empirical studies, so another approach is to look for um, the keyword empirical in your search to help you identify the um, empirical studies. I'm recommending a set of three databases as the primary place to search, sociological abstracts, criminal justice abstracts, and then finally psych info. I'm recommending these databases because this is where you will find empirical studies or applied research in peer-reviewed journals in the social science disciplines. Remember that peer-reviewed journals contain research studies. You're looking for studies for which the authors of the articles are sharing the results of their original research with the research community in their disciplines. I've also included the links to our full list of databases and then a way that you can browse through our databases by subjects like sociology, criminal justice, or psychology. And that's the databases by subject link. Using my sample search for bullying and peers in therapy in sociological abstracts, I found this article from the Journal of Social Issues. Reading through the abstracts, I can see the researchers are reporting on a study they did using three theories of behavior patterns specific to bullying status groups in a school setting. The list of subjects tells me what the main concepts will be in this article, but it also gives me some additional terms I can use in my search for more articles. Databases typically provide abstracts or descriptions of articles. To read the full study, you'll need to click on the Get It button over at the right, um, and you can also look back at the Where is the Article video if you need to review the steps.
Research help is available 24-7 through our Ask a Librarian service. My email address, Kristen W., is available to you if you would like to ask questions directly of me. And just keep in mind that for spring 2020, the library building is closed. I'm confident that you'll be able to get the articles you need for this project digitally, and I'm happy to assist if you run into any issues with that process.